I think this lesson's pretty cool, actually. The Inscribed Similar Triangles Theorem talks about how you can take a right triangle, and if you draw an altitude for the triangle, in other words, if you draw a line through the right angle of a right angle triangle, so we're up here at A, and you draw straight across so that you meet the opposite side of the triangle at a perpendicular angle. You form a 90 degree angle here where they meet. So you're finding sort of the height of the triangle where it meets that right angle. If you do that, then your original right triangle is split into three sort of sub-triangles. You have your original huge one that goes all around the outside, ADB, and then you have a smaller one that's ACD over here, like so. And then you have a little bitty one, ABC, right here. And what's cool about all three of those triangles is they're all similar. They all have exactly the same angles. So you have a 90 degree angle here in your original triangle, and you have a 90 degree angle here in the middle triangle, and here in the tiniest triangle. And then you have a 30 degree angle over here, approximately, we're guesstimating. And if that's a 30 degree angle, then so is this one over here. And of course, this 30 degree angle is also the same 30, 30 degree angle for the middle triangle, right? And then we have another angle, we'll call this a 60 degree angle up here, which is the same for the middle one, and the same one over here, another 60 degree triangle. So all three angles in this, in, you know, based on the numbers I came up with here, would be 30, 60, 90 triangles. So what's really cool about it is no matter what that original triangle looked like, if we divide it through that right angle, even if we have, say, a really, really long narrow one here, let's do that. You kind of a weird example of a triangle here. Yeah, if I make that same altitude drawing, that same altitude line, so that we meet the opposite side at a 90 degree angle, then all three triangles formed here will still have the same angles in each corner. They will all be similar. So we have three angles that all meet, and if I call this little triangle A, this medium triangle B, and the really big one, triangle C, then A is similar to B and is similar to C. And all of their sides will also be in proportion. If we go back to our original figure over here, our first triangle, if we say that our really big triangle has sides of, oh, I don't know, um, 6, 8, 10, then the other two triangles will have sides that are proportional to that. So our middle triangle now we know has a longest side of 8. We can see here, here's our middle triangle, now I'm outlining in orange. Like so, if its longest side is 8 and the longest side of the big triangle is 10, then those two triangles, the middle one is 8 tenths as big, or 4 fifths as big as you like, of the biggest triangle. So we can actually see exactly what portion they are compared to each other. It's pretty cool and it's a pretty neat way to find a lot of information about different triangles in a hurry. Let's take a look at some of the example questions and see how this thing pans out. 